When he talks, people listen and obey. <laughs> what do you want, kid? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we will explore the comic book origins of Preacher. People said before you were a preacher, you did things. As with most comic book characters, there are often reimaginings in different versions to a character's past. We have chosen to primarily follow the storyline which unfolded in 1995's Preacher number 1, 4, 8, and 10. Many evangelical ministers are known for their persuasive use of words, but Jesse Custer, known simply as Preacher, takes that to a whole new level. Possessed by a mysterious force, he can make people obey his words whether they want to or not. Preacher's origin was spread over several issues, but the basics were presented in the first story arc in 1995. Jesse Custer was originally the minister of a congregation in the small southern town of Anvil. Discouraged by the low turnout at his services, he wandered into the local bar and proceeded to antagonize his flock. As a preacher, he's privy to a lot of secrets, and he shared them with the community. That didn't sit well with many of his parishioners, and soon, Custer was knocked out cold. Meanwhile, up in heaven, a group of angels had discovered a problem. Something named Genesis, which they were watching over, had broken out and fled. After killing a seraphim, Genesis had made its way to Earth and was looking for a soul to bond with. One of the angels was then dispatched to find the being known as the Saint of Killers. The angel traveled to a graveyard and discovered the Saint of Killers, who promptly shot the angel. As he died, the angel told his killer that if Genesis does not bond with a mortal man, it would have disastrous consequences. The Saint of Killers set off to destroy Genesis and any host body he assumed. As this was all going on, Jesse Custer was getting ready to deliver a sermon. Because of his eventful visit at the pub the night before, the entire town of Anvil was in church for once. Suddenly, the entity known as Genesis descended and took possession of Custer. In moments, the people of Anvil had been utterly destroyed, with only Custer left alive. By coincidence, or perhaps divine intervention, Custer's ex-girlfriend, Tulip, was passing by with her friend, a vampire named Cassidy. They pulled Custer's unconscious body from the wreckage of the church. As he awoke, he told them that something had invaded his mind, something that had been born from the mating of an angel of heaven and a demon from hell, namely Genesis. Their conversation was interrupted by the arrival of a redneck sheriff and his colleagues, who drew their guns on the group. Suddenly, Custer spoke in a strange and unearthly voice, commanding the police to drop their guns and let him go. The officers complied, unable to resist and unable to lift a finger against Custer and his friends as they drove away. Eventually, Preacher discovered that on the day Genesis was born, the Lord quit and left heaven, apparently afraid of the power that Genesis would have. Preacher decided that he needed to find where God was hiding, apparently on Earth, and get him to own up to what happened. Thus began Preacher's quest. Those first issues explained how Jesse Custer became possessed by Genesis and became Preacher. But a few months later, more information was revealed about Jesse's family and early life. Jesse's father was a Marine who had served in Vietnam. His mother had escaped from an abusive family with an insane cult-like religious fanaticism. When Jesse was young, his grandmother and her minions killed Jesse's father in front of him. Jesse was expected to become a preacher, as was typical for males in this corrupt bloodline. When he misbehaved, he was punished by being put in a coffin and submerged in a lake for days or weeks on end with no food and only a tube for air and water. Eventually, he escaped from the cult, got on with his life, and met Tulip. The two were happy together for a time, until his grandmother's cult caught up with them. In order to protect Tulip, Jesse disappeared without telling her why, leaving her with a bitter resentment towards him for years. Back in the clutches of the cult, Jesse strengthened his belief in God for comfort, and that's when he became a priest. Jesse would only get to explain all of this to Tulip years later after they were reunited following the incident in Anvil. Unfortunately, this only happened when the two had been captured by the grandmother's cult once again. Things will escalate, that's what these things do, they escalate. Violence makes violence, makes nothing much at all. Writer Garth Ennis created a fascinating world and characters in the comic book Preacher, one that inspired a fervent and devoted following. There were several attempts to adapt the series into a film or TV series, which repeatedly fell through, but Preacher finally made it onto the small screen with an AMC series of the same name, letting wider audiences experience this strange but captivating character. Are you a fan of the profane and persuasive Preacher? For more awe-inspiring comic book origins, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Is that what you want, kid?